Sarah, you slipped away so quickly today. I was hoping we could catch up a bit. We were practically strangers in that crowd. You know how much it would mean to me if we could reconnect. Sorry, Mom. The thing is that I was with my friends, so... Plus, I have a big test I need to study for tomorrow. That's why I needed to hurry back right after the funeral ended. I understand, but it's been ages since we last saw each other. And to think we'd reunite at such an event. What a bittersweet surprise. You've grown so much, I barely recognized you. I didn't know you would be their mom. I mean, it was my friend's mom's funeral. Yes, I remember her from the school open houses. We used to chat about you kids and school life. When I heard she passed away, I felt compelled to pay my respects. Oh, I see. I wonder why your father wasn't there though. Ever since the divorce, you two have never been in the same place at the same time. It's not surprising, really. Plus, he had work. Well, it's not like I was hoping to see him or anything. It's probably for the best that we keep our distance. Sarah, despite everything, thank you for giving me your number. Mom, I've been wanting to ask you this for a very long time. Why did you just disappear one day without a trace? I was shell-shocked when I realized you were gone. When I asked Dad about it, he just told me to forget everything about you. There were a multitude of reasons, Sarah. But the crux of it all was our financial situation. I was weary of our constant struggle to make ends meet. What do you mean? Your father had an annual income of only $15,000. With that being said, I had to work my job from sunrise to sundown in order to put food on the table. That's the life I was sick and tired of. That's why you abandoned me? You didn't have to leave me, too. No, I wanted to take you with me at first. But I didn't have enough money to support both of us at the time. Plus, you have always been a daddy's girl. So I couldn't just tear you away from him. But still, don't you think that it was wrong of you to just abandon us like that? I know that was a terrible thing to do. But try to understand how I felt back then. I was so stressed out from working too much. You know, because we were so poor. I thought I would go crazy if I stayed in that situation any longer. That's no excuse. You should have talked to us. Maybe we could have helped you somehow. Maybe, but it's too late for that now. I'm glad you're doing well, though. You're in college already, right? Yeah, I go to this college in New York. Wow, that's impressive. You must have worked hard to get there. I bet it wasn't easy to pay for high school and college. Well, Dad works hard to give me the best life he can. Oh, is that so? He really stepped up for you then. Yeah, Dad is a hard worker for sure. He always puts others before himself. He works hard for me and his clients. That's why I respect him. Well, he's a good person all right. But I still can't live with him. Well, there must have been something else going on between you two that I don't know about. What really made you guys break up? You're very perceptive, Sarah. There is more to the story than what you know. But it's not something I can tell you right now. Okay, well, maybe someday you'll tell me. Maybe, but for now, I just want to hear about you and your life, Sarah. Please tell me everything that happened while I was gone. Okay, well, where do I start? The problem is, Dad won't be happy about this. But Mommy has always wanted to see you, Sarah. 
You're my one and only child after all. Fine. So come see me without your father knowing about it. Like you just said, I think he'll probably stop you from seeing me if he knows. I see. When are you available? Does Sunday this week work for you? That's pretty soon. Yeah, but that's because I want to be able to see you as soon as possible, Sarah. Three days later. Sarah, why are you leaving so soon? You just got here. Don't you want to spend some time with me? Who's that guy with you? He looks like a criminal. He's my husband. Weren't you supposed to come alone? I didn't agree to meet your husband. He was curious about you, so I brought him along. But he's so rude. He said some disgusting things to me. That's just his way of being friendly. Don't take it personally. When I hang out with my friends, they say even worse things to me. That's how adults talk to each other. Well, none of the adults I know talk to me like that. Maybe you're hanging out with the wrong crowd. Just because his friends are trashy, it doesn't mean he has to be too. Are you sure you're not surrounded by lowlifes? How dare you say that to me? Don't you ever insult me or my friends again. It's his first time meeting me. And he knows I'm his wife's daughter. Don't you realize how inappropriate this is? He told me my boobs bounce nicely and that I should wear a sports bra so everyone can enjoy the show. And he kept trashing dad. So what? He only called your father a pauper. I don't see anything wrong with that. It's the truth. Your dad is poor and can't even give his wife and daughter a decent life. We used to struggle so much before. I hope you haven't forgotten that. I remember everything. But it doesn't matter if it's true or not. He has no right to say those things about dad. Or me. I don't ever want to see him again. I'm leaving and I'm not coming back. Goodbye. Fine. Go ahead and leave. Just listen to what I have to say even if you probably hate me right now. The reason why I wanted to see you today is because I have a proposal for you. What proposal for me? You want to come over to my place? We can all live together. Excuse me? I live in a house right now. We have extra rooms, so you can choose one to be your room. I can also provide you with three meals a day here. Don't you think it's a little too late to be saying these sorts of things? Not to mention that this also means me being forced to live under the same roof with that barbarian whom you call husband. I feel bad for you because you will have to continue living like a bum with your father if I don't help you out. I talked to my husband and he said yes. See? He has a generous side to him you know? What's going to happen to dad then? Dad will never let me go live with you guys. You're not obliged to listen to whatever he tells you. Why don't you just leave your destitute father and live with us? As long as you pay me rent every month, I'll let you live at my place. I can provide you with a life that's ten times better than the one you have right now. Don't you want that? Do not speak ill of dad like this. He's a much more conscientious person than you are since he didn't just leave the house and abandon me. Being conscientious won't help with putting food on the table. Stop acting like a child and come live with us. That's not going to happen. Dad has already bought me a house. I'm happy where I am, thanks. He bought you a house. How can he buy a house when his annual income is $15,000? That's a thing of the past. Don't tell me he switched jobs and has a higher salary now. Does he? 
What's his annual income currently? Why do I have to tell you this kind of personal information? You're nobody to me. How in the world can I be nobody to you? I'm your mother. But you are literally nobody to me. I no longer know you or think of you as my mother. What's going on with you, Sarah? Why don't you tell me more about your father? You literally had no interest in him five seconds ago. So how can you care for him this much all of a sudden as soon as you hear about his financial situation? Your attitude changes as fast as greased lightning. You're disgusting. Just tell me how much he makes right now. Look it up yourself if you're that curious about it. Will you? Oh my gosh, Sarah! He's the CEO of a company right now? How unbelievable! Yeah, this is the man who you wouldn't stop making a fool of and putting down. I searched his name and found it on the internet. I mean, how did he even become CEO? Isn't this company pretty big and famous? How did he make such a name for himself as a blue-collar worker? Dad kept his nose to the grindstone with work after you were gone. After all, he needed to feed me, clothe me, and send me to school. He's the only parent that I had from then on. I guess he knew the reason why you left us. He's not someone stupid and he knows how much you value money but hate the fact that he had none. In order to show you what he's capable of. Dad went the extra mile to earn more money. But he didn't even have any money saved up to start a business in the first place. His friend lent him a hand and invested money in his company. His friend knows Dad's character and was willing to give him a leg up for his business. Dad really is blessed by this amazing friendship he has now that I think back to those hard times. And then? How did he manage to climb the social ladder in just a few years and make his brand name well known to the public? At first, it really was nothing more than an online shopping and delivery service company. Nobody really knew about shopping online or needed a delivery service unlike people do now. Fortunately, Dad didn't give up and tried his luck in the United Kingdom where he hit the jackpot. Yeah, what he's doing right now is for sure catching the trend. I didn't know that he was a person with this much foresight. Does he work overseas? Europe is where his business is based. Mostly Dad travels back and forth between the US and Europe. He's recently come to be the owner of many real estate properties in different countries. Seriously? I shouldn't have broken up with him then. I wouldn't have if I'd known. I might have had the chance to become a rich housewife. I know, right? What a shame. And then? How did he come to buy you a house? He lives overseas during most of the year. We've been running all this time in the States, but he still went out of his way to purchase a house just for me. He wants me to live in a gated community with security guards for safety purposes. It's also a very beautiful neighborhood with all kinds of entertainment and breathtaking views. Wait, so you live there by yourself? As a college student? When Dad is in America, the two of us live together. But I'm the house owner. He put my name on the deed to the property because he thinks it could help me learn about real estate. What? What do you mean by that? He told me to do whatever with the house after I become financially independent. I mean, I can either sell it, put it up for rent, or continue to live in it. It's all up to me. Although he did tell me that I could gain some real-world experience by putting it up for rent or selling it. 
How are you supposed to gain experience by just doing that? I don't understand. The way rich people think and act will always remain a mystery to me. Dad has gone through a lot of things too while working overseas. He's become keen on education after discussing it with well-known figures around the world. I also want to learn a variety of things from different personalities and scholars. Imagine spending a fortune on a child. I guess he must be filthy rich right now. Isn't he? What's his annual income? I have no idea. He's so rich that his wealth can't even be estimated. That's what it is. I'm assuming that you must be getting a lot of pocket money from him, right? No, that's not the case. I mean, I do get more than the average kid, but it's certainly not as much as you think. Dad still sees money the same way he used to. But still, he's rich beyond the dream of avarice. Listen up! Wire me some of that money. Pardon me? I won't ask for too much. Two thousand dollars a month will do. I'm sure it's only crumbs from the table for you, right? Dad will never give you any money. That's why I'm telling you to do it. Why do I have to give you money? Because I gave birth to you, remember? So why can't you do something so trivial as this for me? Don't be such an ingrate. You don't have the right to ask me for money when you abandoned me and left the house. Shut up and wire it to me. If you don't do it right now, I will come find you at college. You don't want to be pointed fingers at by your friends and classmates, right? You don't even know which college I go to. I'll figure it out by all means. Follow my instructions while I still have the patience to ask you nicely. I will make you regret your life decisions if you don't obey me now. What in the world makes you think that you're asking me nicely? You know what? Talking to a harridan like you tires me out. Don't get carried away just because you're the daughter of a parvenu now. If you won't stop being proud as a peacock, I'll be the one who'll put you in your right place. There are so many ways I know that could make you pay through the nose. You have really proven yourself to be nothing but a harridan after all. Well, but if this is the road you choose to walk down, then allow me to let you taste your own medicine. I just told Dad that you threatened me. I have no more words for you. Our lawyer will be in touch with you very soon. Seriously? Your lawyer? I will be demanding financial compensation from you for traumatizing me. I felt very endangered by your attitude toward me yesterday. But you didn't even give me any money. Plus, I don't remember saying anything menacing to you at all. All I asked is for you to give me some money since you're rich now and I'm the person who gave birth to you. Don't I deserve some payback? You made me feel like my life was at risk when you said that you would make me pay through the nose. After all, I wasn't sure if you were going to put your words into action. Because if you did, we don't know what's going to happen to me. So of course I would feel frightened. That was just me blowing a fuse in the heat of the moment. I was mad because you refused to send me money even though I wasn't asking for too much. I don't care. What you did is unforgivable. So don't pretend like you don't remember what you said yesterday. I mean, how can you be so shameless as to threaten me? You're the one who abandoned us, and now you have the audacity to ask me for money? Guess what, you gave birth to me all right, but you don't deserve to be my mother. It's time for you to know that there will be consequences for what you do. Sarah, I'm so sorry for what I said yesterday. I was just throwing a fit. Please don't sue me. I can't even begin to imagine how much I'd have to pay, considering your father's probably going to get expensive lawyers for you. 
your attitude has changed so much I can barely recognize you. Are you that short on money? To be honest with you, my husband is in debt, so we practically don't have a dime to our names. I have a chronic illness, but can't afford to pay for medication and treatment. Also, you running into me the other day wasn't a coincidence. I went there because I thought that maybe I could see you. You wanted me to come live with you even though the two of you are broke as hell? Why would you want to do that? I thought that if you lived with us, the money that you earn from your part-time job could help us with the family expenses. Plus, it's not difficult for a young girl like you to earn some fast bucks. What are you talking about? You're absolutely the worst. You only want me to live with you because you were using me as a way to cover costs. How can you do such inhumane things? What's worse, you even wanted me to resort to those types of jobs so that you can earn money? I just thought that you would have a better life with me than your father. Speaking of annual income, I was confident that ours is higher than your father's, so. It's not a matter of annual income. I still would have chosen dad even if he only brings home $15,000 a year. I would never choose someone so terrible like you, mom. Dad would never in a million years sacrifice me for money. That's why he gives his all at work. How can you call me a terrible person? Because that is exactly what you are. The fact that you abandoned me and the way you talked to me yesterday are all proof. Plus, that man you're married to right now is also terrible. His actions and words are both atrociously terrible. Don't say such hurtful things about him. The problem is, I'm sick right now. That's called karma for what you've done all these years. Just know that you're not going to be let off the hook just because you're sick. Please. Tell me that you won't sue us, will you? There's no way I could afford to hire a lawyer and go to court given my current situation. If you want me to drop the charges against you, then you have to promise to never contact Dad and I again. Is it not possible to sit down and have a talk with your dad first? He will only talk to you through his lawyer. As for me, I'm blocking you on my phone right now after our conversation. Don't ever let me see you again. I want to apologize for what I did to you up until now. But trust me, I've tried my best to stay alive till this day. That's what Dad's been doing as well. That's how he was able to get to where he is now with all the assets he now owns. I respect Dad. I despise you, Mom. But I feel like you still want to be on good terms with me. I mean, you agreed to see me. Isn't that proof enough? It seems like I had some unrealistic expectations of you. But after meeting you, I realized that I should never have held those expectations of you in the first place. So I guess in a way, it's good that we saw each other again after so many years. How does living over here with us sound while your father is overseas? Don't you feel lonely when he's not here? But weren't you telling me how I have to pay you rent? Plus, how much do you and that guy earn every year? Us? We have an annual income of $40,000. Well, it's a lot less than what Dad earns. Do not compare us to that person. I would be exhausted if I came and lived with the two of you. My mental health would suffer if I only earned minimum wage and had to scrape by like you guys do. $40,000 a year is not minimum wage. Okay, fine. Then I'm assuming that there won't be the need for me to go out and work anymore, right? In fact, you know what? Why don't you just work hard yourself and stop trying to freeload off of other people's hard-earned money? Here's the truth, mom. You're not poor financially. You're poor emotionally. 
After that. Afterwards, my father managed to communicate with my mother through his attorney. He informed her about his intention to divorce and his desire to have full custody of me. She promised to leave both me and my father alone for good. Unfortunately, she has been dealing with health issues and is currently on the run from debt. Life seems to be treating her poorly, but I can't help but think that she is reaping what she sowed for abandoning us when we needed her the most. She left us in the lurch and never looked back. Now, she is facing the consequences, and I can't say that I feel any sympathy for her. However, this situation doesn't affect my father and me anymore. We have decided to leave her in the past and move forward with our lives. We are happier than ever. I am excited about the opportunities that college will bring, and I hope to contribute to my father's business in the future. He has worked tirelessly to provide for me and give me the best education possible. Currently, showing my gratitude means giving my all and becoming a daughter he can be proud of. It's about time I support my father, just as he has supported me throughout the years.